everybody, I'm Juliana and this is the Sprocket Girl channel. As you can tell, everything looks way different than what you're used to seeing on my channel from Colorado. We're really enjoying our road trip here out east. We're checking out some of the trails near Asheville, North Carolina, and just really enjoying being in a different climate and a different environment and seeing some different trails. Come along for the ride here in North Carolina. We're close to Asheville in North Carolina on the western side of the state and we're in the Blue Ridge Mountains and this trail system is called Bent Creek and we're doing kind of a lollipop trail or combination of trails called Green's Lick or Ingalls Trail which basically consists of an out and back with a little loop at the end. 13 miles it's supposed to be and something like 1200 or 1300 feet of climbing and descent and we're really excited to be out here it's really new riding for me i've never ridden anywhere other than in colorado utah or new mexico and obviously the climate is really different it's a very humid summer right now here and there's so much green very different from what we're used to in Colorado. Also, the soil or the, the um, trail, the ground is much different from what we're used to. Right now it seems like it's a little bit of like a clay mix or something, some sand and some roots mixed in. Excited, excited to try something new. so pretty here. It's almost like being in a jungle. Reminds me a little bit of Costa Rica. We went there a couple years ago. It's a fun little slick climb. The roots are very slippery. Gotta get used to that. The ground is still pretty moist from last night's rainfall. We're so used to riding in a really arid climate in Colorado. I was saying to Graham the other day that it's so unusual for me to be riding and like sweat just dripping down, dripping off me onto the bike and everything. Because it's not like I don't sweat in Colorado, but it just evaporates so quickly that you never really notice it. So we're out here in North Carolina because some Graham's family lives here and we just did a nice road trip all across the US and uh, yeah we wanted to also check out the riding out here and as many of you probably know this area here around Asheville is really famous for its mountain biking trails. So some of you might have heard of Pisgah National Forest or DuPont. It's another area with a lot of hiking and biking trails. And yeah, it just seems to be a really popular place to come or popular destination to go to for mountain biking. And interestingly, Asheville has a really close connection to Denver or kind of the Colorado area in general for a variety of reasons. But for instance, a lot of breweries have connections here and in Denver. And you can just tell that these areas both share a love for the outdoors and for good beer, good food. And if some of you follow other mountain biking channels, then you probably know that there's a bunch of people who live out in this area I think Seth from Seth's Bike Hacks lives here. And I've definitely seen some BKXC and single track sampler videos of them riding somewhere near Asheville. So it's fun. I'm really glad that we have this opportunity to check out some totally different 
kind of riding to what we're used to. I think it makes you a better rider. You have a variety of different trails and climates and substrates to ride on. But of course, I understand that not everyone always has the opportunity to ride in different places. So definitely consider myself very lucky that we got to go on this road trip out in Colorado where we usually ride, I can really rely on the rocks to be sticky and non-slippery. So a lot of times I'll pick lines, especially because they go over rocks. Wow, what's going on here? Try to jump it? Yeah. So anyway, I'm used to picking rocks specifically because they're sticky, but here, when you get that kind of sandy clay mixture, on a rock it makes it really slick. So, still kind of testing it out, seeing how it feels, and uh, taking it easy. We have a couple of days to ride around here before we have to head back to Denver. So I'm hoping that after a ride or two, I'll feel more confident. So now we're on the lollipop or loop part of the trail. Looks like this is more the single track, whereas the out and back part was more kind of a double. I thought I was gonna be in tip top shape coming out from Colorado, coming from altitude down here, but I'm still a little out of breath on the uphill. Maybe also cause it's just super humid, not used to that at all. So we just came up this climb right here and we're about to head down here. It's pretty much all downhill from here, which is super nice and we're looking forward to that. I have to say this climb was harder than I thought it would be. I was like kind of, I don't know, overly confident thinking that coming from Colorado at altitude, I would be able to crush it no problem. It was really steep and I had to stop a couple times and catch my breath, but here we are. the roots and it's kind of hard for me to judge really how slippery they are especially in a turn so just kind of trying to feel it out before I go any harder 